Okay, so the trek continues. We've enjoyed having you ride with us. Hopefully, once Goodwin and Terran are joined the Urgent Crusade, they can continue to travel together. As soon as we arrived here at Light's Hope Light Shield Tower, these two Lunkhead Paladins ran off to Light's Hope Chapel. It's still a ways away, but if we're going to follow Argus along his tour of the towers, this is about as close as we're going to get. Check in on them and make sure they're all right. I know they can handle themselves, but still, it'd make me feel better to know that you are watching over them while I'm stuck here with the caravan. Okay, so I guess we stick ahead, or we, you know, run ahead and go on over to Light's Hope without them. That's disappointing. I thought we were going to get to ride all the way to Light's Hope together. Hmm. Here we are, Gidwin. What's on your mind? I can't believe it. We're literally fate away from becoming sworn members of the Argent Crusade. We'd be in there already if it wasn't for Terranar's dallying. If he doesn't quit chatting with the locals soon, I'm gonna head in there myself. I've always wanted to join that crusade. It's the reason I became a paladin. Years of practice honing my craft. I'm finally ready. Terranor thinks he's ready too, but I'm not sure. He's a bit of a showboat, and he never took his lesson seriously. Still, we've promised we'd do this together, and here we are. Shall we head into the chapel now? Okay, we'll speak with Maxwell Terosus within Save Light's Hope Chapel. Mm, must be in here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I've got blessings all over the place. That's what pallies do. Welcome to Light's Hope Channel. If you wish to join the crusade, very well. We have plenty of tasks for new recruits. But first, a test. Wait, what? No, I don't want to be a paladin. I'm already a monk. I think that's against my religion or something. Behind our chapel, you will find a small crypt. Interred within are bodies of our fallen heroes, those who gave their lives in the war against the Scourge. Their spirits are at peace, but they return immediately to test the new members of the Order. The three of you may test together, enter the crypt, then read from the scroll. Lord Raymond Gorge, my predecessor, will preside over your test. Be careful. Okay, I guess we're gonna do a pally test. Or I guess, yeah. Where are we on? Aha! Uh -huh. I'm guessing this is it up here. Alright, let's dive into the crypt and see what happens. Dude, well, we can help him out. Yay, I must have missed something. I do for you. Oh. Was that it? Okay. Remember that your ancestors always watch over you. As a brother of the Argent Crusade, you will join a family that has a long line of fallen ancestors. Their vigil and protection will be your strength as you press forward against the Scourge. Congratulations and welcome to the Argent Crusade! Yay! Oh, hey, grats, dude! Brilliant. Brahmin's Mill, Slay. Oh, I don't wanna. Dude, well, I guess slaying him with these two dudes would be fun. Yeah. 
slay as many undead as we can. Go with honor, Why not? We will kill all the undead. Come, my teammates. one of my dudes. A new Bellore della Na. <laughs> I lost one of my pallies. Okay, so we've cleared out the, uh, what was it? The Noxious Glade. You've returned sooner than I expected. Excellent. We will continue our path into the north. Next time you will be completing a similar task. This time in Careful. Northdale. Dun dun dun! Alright, well, I think that's about it for these two schmucks. Oh, nope, maybe not. Victory lies ahead. Tyrosus is given our next task, slaying more undead in Northdale. Gadwin is excited to move forward, but I think we should show a little more caution. Let's meet up with Fiona. She should be at the next tower by now. Eastwall Tower, I think it's called. It's close by, next to the north, northwest of Light's Hope. We can rest there and plan our attack on Northdale. We okay. Will have justice. We can do that. Go into Northdale. Uh. All right, here we are, East Wall Tower. Snag me a flight path. All right, Fiona. Open for business. Hello, glad to see you've rejoined the caravan. Terranar and Gidwin arrived here just before you. Terranar's just right there, and Gidwin's well. He's in a little bit of a mood right now. That's probably because he died and missed out on most of the action. I think he's in the tower. I run a stand -up business here. Okay. Well, let's see what Terranar wants. I know we're supposed to head to Northdale, but that can wait, right? Besides, this lovely little goblin was just telling me about some scourge that are even closer by. So apparently there's this Nerubulian underlord named Ixlar that's been trying to make a name for himself ever since the Lich King was slain. He set up a camp of undead to our north. Sure, Tarotius wants us to kill banshees in the North Vale, but we'll get to that. Let's kill this Nerubian first, while we're close. Alright, I suppose. To all who oppose us. What's this goblin want? North of here and west of Northdale, you will find the campulent maggot beast Baralgor. I have lost entire regiments to that monster. His size knows no bounds. The more he eats, the greater his girth becomes. While I would not suffer any emotional harm should the beast devour you, I would prefer that you were the victor. Poor Elgar has been known to devour others who have tried to hunt him. Ah, oh, that sounds like fun. We will kill the giant farking worm. And... Oh, Goodwin's pouting. See you around. Okay. I guess it's Our just me and Terranar this time. Maybe he is pissed that we left him. Oh. Oh, here we can go straight for Ixlar the Underlord. Oh, and a bunch of his minions. Holy crap. Well, that didn't take long. Okay, well. 
We killed him. Does that mean we get to skip the rest of them? No, of course not. There you are. Oh, you're not that big. You're not that big at all. Back. I've killed bigger slugs than this. Piece of cake. Keep this up and I might have to keep you here at Eastwild, Dwarf. I don't think so. Glad I could help. That will not be necessary. What do you offer? Exactly. I couldn't stop him. While you would turn our route, Giddy ran north all alone. Terranar, you should have known better. Gidwin gets so impatient sometimes, and you only egg him on. If Giddy gets into any trouble, I'm blaming you for this. Oh jeez. Okay, it looks like we have to go and find the dwarf. Cheerio, Cheerio indeed. Baladash, Malanore. Damn that dwarf. He's always getting me into trouble with Fiona. Look at her, she won't even talk to me. I'm gonna stay here and try to mend my friendship with our worgen friend. Would you mind going out and making sure Gidwin is alright? Oh yeah, sure, he's not my brother or anything. I'm sure he's fine, but he knows how to take care of himself. He headed north, and he can't have gotten Remember far. Alright, now we go out and look for the dwarf. Oh, uh oh. Here we are, open prayer book. That can't be good. That is not something you want to leave lying around in a undead town. So, what the heck am I supposed to do with that? Ah, darn it. Stupid interlopers. Okay, well, I found the prayer book. Now what? Okay, uh, I got Victory some lies bad news. You didn't see him? Where could he have gone then? His, his prayer book? Why would he leave that behind? Oh, oh, by the light. What have I done? This is my fault. I, I ignored his warnings, his complaints, everything. I couldn't help myself. I saw those scourge just beyond the star, and I, I had to go kill them. Argus says that Goodwin was taken northwest and that he's our only lead. So that's where we'll head. Northdale and the Argent Crusade, be damned. We're getting Gidwin back from those scurred trash. Salama Ashalanore. Let's get in the caravan. Whee! I can't believe I let Gidwin run off like that. It's not your fault, Terranar. He ran off on his own will. None of us could stop him. We can't be certain he was killed. Maybe he just ran off somewhere. No, he'd never leave his prayer book. He was always studying, trying to get better. Even more reason to believe he's still alive. A paladin like Gidwin makes a fine death knight. Any member of the Scourge powerful enough would know that. It's likely he's being held somewhere awaiting a death ritual. Really? That's great news! <laughs> no, no, that's not great news. That's not great news at all. No, oh, okay, so where are we going here? Strat? No, we we don't want to go into Strat. Strat's a bad place. I don't think we can handle that. Anaria, Shola. Yes, and it was you who continually kept up with him for that practice. I watched both of you fight, Terranar. You've got natural talent, more than Gidwin ever will. Perhaps that's why he left without you. What do you mean? Perhaps he felt he needed to prove he was as talented as you. 
this is all my fault. I've got to find him to set things right. I wouldn't say it's your fault, Teradar, but don't let that stop you from saving Gidwin. Alright. Oh, what do you got over here? Oh, you're, uh... No, that's okay. Victory lies ahead. Time is wasting. Every minute we waste gives the Scourge another chance to kill Gidwin, if he isn't dead already. Not that I think he is. Giddy may be a stick in the mud, but when it comes down to it, he can swing the light like a champion. We paladins are normally taught to exercise judgment and control when dealing with foes, but this is an emergency and I have never paid too much attention to my trainers anyway. I'm going to head into the plague wood and time I find out just what I can about Giddy. You deal with Scourge just to the northeast on the other side of this tower. The undead don't fear death, but if you beat them enough, their tongues might slip and we might get some clues to Gidwin's location. Remember okay, we are gonna find this little lost dwarf 